Hi guys! So today I thought I would show you how I organize my car with Dollar Tree items. So welcome to all the stuff that I'm going to put back into my car. It's amazing if you really empty your car out, I mean really empty everything out, how much stuff is in there. Probably about a third of the stuff I'm just not going to put back or I'm throwing out. A lot of these items are from the Dollar Tree. I've got one of these white bins. I also bought some twine as well. A Swiss Army knife, a tire gauge, some um, carabiner. got these clips. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use them for but stay tuned. This is from the Dollar Tree so this is what I'm going to replace that bigger duster with. I got more of these tablet sleeves and I also bought these sweater storage bags. I'm thinking of seeing if I can DIY a trash bin for my car. It might not work out, so I will let you know how that works. And I'm gonna be replacing this first aid kit. This is gonna go into my husband's car. So let's start with the car tour. I'm just going to show you how I've organized my car. I have an umbrella right at the side that I can reach and it's just nicely tucked in. I've had this car before so I know that it'll stay there nicely without falling out. And then in the door I have some of the hand sanitizer from the Dollar Tree, some antibacterial wipes. This is my workout stuff so my some facial wipes, hair band, headbands to keep my hair back, and um, there's some bobby pins in there as well. And then some towels. And I try to put this as much at the front as possible because when I get in, that way I won't hit it with my leg. So here I am in the car. I don't have a ton of decoration. I just like to keep it as simple as possible. Um, all I have is a rosary here and I've had this in every car since I was 16. I had put one of these things. I had gotten this at Walmart. It's just actually supposed to go on your vent. So there's a wire here so it hangs nicely. I don't notice it. It doesn't hit my leg at all. And in this front pocket I just have some mini um, chapped sticks and some mints. And there's also a little tube of Vaseline that I use for the occasional bit of dry skin. And then the lip gloss of the moment, it changes from week to week, is the Skinny Girl Plumping Lip Gloss. Another lippy product I have in here is one of the new um, lip balms by Chap Ice. And this is what it looks like here. This is the cherry one. It smells good. It tastes great. I really like these a lot. And then underneath here, there's a space where... I'll typically put my cell phone in keys or I'll put those things in, in, in one of the cup holders. And in my center console, I have my cord to charge my phone and there is a USB drive. I always try to make sure that there's some children's music on here, um, you know, just to distract my daughter. Right now she's really into Frozen and Tangled, which I like to. In the middle here is a tray that lifts out. But first I have one of these dollar store containers that has my candy from the dollar store. So mints and the Werther's candies. I have a little bit of paper to take notes. A mini makeup kit. It has um, a couple other lip glosses. I like to rotate the Milani HD Advanced Lip Color and then the e.l.f. gloss. There's also a nail file, some eyeliner. There's a sewing kit there that I had gotten from a hotel at one point. I just saved it. I would carry tweezers and lotion in here, but I carry those in my purse anyway, so I don't need to. And then some change, parking meter that take change in our area, so we keep that there. And then also some antibacterial wipes just in case. And then at the back here, just a little bit of money just in case I'm in a parking garage and I forget money. Um, or, you know, I'm at a parking meter that takes cash. And also a couple of clicky pens. I highly prefer the clicky pens because I'm horrible at keeping caps I usually lose them a little hairband and then some tissues and in the center here like I said this comes out and underneath is um, my husband's cord for his phone and then I just keep some extra straws and plastic wear some napkins and then over here is 
the glove compartment and in here is the brush that I was telling you about I really love this a lot and you know it's nice and compact usually if I at the gas station and I'm filling up and I'm waiting for the gas to fill I just quickly give the dash a, a quick wipe and this is probably my favorite part of this device because there's these little crevices and you know dust and crumbs can get stuck in there and I can't get in there with my fingernail you know I have to go get a cute uh, toothpick so I like this because this is very easily going to be able to get in and get those suckers out of there and then also in here is a lint brush that's also from the Dollar Tree this works really well and you know you don't have to rip the tape off or anything or worry about it getting dried out I also have another clicky pen in here and then this has a um, light on it and then also for emergencies I like to keep this out in the open versus in a bag because this is an emergency device this is one of those things that if you're an emergency you don't be digging around for or one of these window breaker things this is not from the Dollar Tree I think somebody gave it to me it's is from like a CVS so this is to break a window if you get accidentally submerged in water and with a high pressure you need something to break the window you can't just kick it out and there's a light on here and a um, tire gauge and then there's a knife also and also and these are my papers that I keep you know for the car dealership info that kind of thing also in here is a tire gauge that I got from the Dollar Tree I have a prayer book that I've had in my car since I was 16 so and then this is one of those tablet sleeves that you can get from the Dollar Tree so just because something is marketed at the Dollar Tree as like as something like a tablet sleeve doesn't mean you have to use it for that and continuing on with the passenger side I have uh, a CD holder up here that I got from the Dollar Tree I've had this for a long time it works very well it's durable enough for my needs and I have a CD here of kids songs just in case the USB drive gives out and some of mine and my husband's CDs and then down at the bottom here in the door is where I keep our emergency kit and again this is one of those tablet sleeves you can get from the Dollar Tree and in here is that emergency kit that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree it has tape gloves bandages um, Motrin packets Tylenol packets some antibacterial ointment there so um, and then there's some plastic tape here some gauze 4 by 4s also to some more of the moist wipes antibacterial something I can use for a tourniquet a TB mask or any other mask or just a mask that you can use for if there's high pollutants and then there's a CPR mask so those fit nicely into this tablet sleeve from the Dollar Tree And that's it for this side and this is the back seat of the car in the door I have some wipes I prefer to keep wipes in a soft pack because I think they tend to stay wet better in these packs versus the hard packs and then in here I have some mittens and a hat for my daughter so those fit nicely in there we have the mirror and then we have um, a case for an iPad for when we go on road trips and then I have a carabiner here and also another one here and the reason for that and I'm not gonna go too much into this my daughter has some medical backpacks that she has to have sitting upright so you know when she's hooked up the tubing goes around here and then it gets hung from here so those are pretty convenient I like those and then here at the back I have those Dollar Tree crates and there's a bigger crate inside the longer crate and in here is a stuffed animal this is Broby from Yo Gabba Gabba some books that she likes reading and there are sound books so they keep her entertained and I like the short books because then you know she could easily hold them versus some of the bigger ones that are you know they can't turn the page because they're limited by 
space. And then here is where I found a use for that white clip I showed earlier. I would like to tell you that I'm super neat with her shopping cart cover, but I'm not. I usually just kind of roll it up and stuff it in here, but sometimes opens up and gets a bit of a jumble. So I use the clip here to clip it together. I am lazy and I don't want to fiddle with these ties to, you know, tie it all together. I just, I'm just so not in the mood by the time I get done shopping. So I'd much rather just keep it there. And then I have just an empty water bottle for when I go to the gym or when I go to Zumba and I forget to bring a water bottle. There's a water fountain there so I could just fill this up there. Back here, the sunscreen, really just in case of emergencies. Again, you shouldn't really keep sunscreen in your car because its efficacy disintegrates over time, but it's better to have something rather than nothing if you're really stuck. And then under here, just in case I have, um, you know, those window covers that you could put to block the sun. Also at the back, tucked in the back here, which I can easily access from the driver's seat is my choir folder. And then this here is my couponing bin. And this is the other side of the back seat. So here I have an umbrella, just in case I have more passengers with me, more tissues and wipes antibacterial stuff. Um, those things are from the Dollar Tree. Some glow sticks in case of emergency that are from the Dollar Tree. I'd like to get a um, red orange triangle to put here in case of emergency. And then I put a garbage bag back there just because you know you can use this for multiple things, whether as a bag or you know if you're changing a tire or somebody's changing a tire for you. You can put this on the ground if it happens to be muddy. You can use it as a poncho if you really, really needed to. So, you know, and it's such a small thing, it's nice to have. Now, I have read somewhere that in case of emergency, you should keep carpet remnants in your car so that you could put it under your tires if you're stuck in the mud or the snow. And the Dollar Tree does sell those things, but I decided not to just because, you know, I figured I would just use our mats if we were really, really stuck. And then back here, our couponing bin, you know, this has scissors in it as well, which I would ordinarily keep in there, but I really just use it for the coupons most of the time. And in the back, let me get in here. In the back, I also have, um, I have one of these Target bags. You can get bags this size at the Dollar Tree, of course. And in here, I have this bin that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. And these are one of those Sure Fresh brins for food. It has a blue cover that I put at the bottom here to kind of maintain the frame of the bag. And um, this is our makeshift garbage can. And in here I have some extra plastic bags that I folded up. I also have a sandwich bag that I keep there just in case. So this stays here nicely. It doesn't swing about or the, gar the garbage doesn't fall out or anything. I really try to empty my car of garbage every time I fill up anyway. And I hang it with one of the carabiners I got from the Dollar Tree. This came in a two pack. They do sell three packs of carabiners, but um, they're multiple sizes. I just wanted this one size, so these were in a two pack only. And under the back seat is where I keep those sweater bags that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And here we keep a spare pair of shoes, spare pair of socks, some flip-flops in case I'm wearing flip-flops and one of them breaks, a spare outfit for my daughter. There are some waterproof pads as well. There's about three or four in there. And then I also keep a spare shirt just in case one of us has to change a tire. I was going to put one of my shirts, but I decided to put one of my husband's considering that it would fit me too. And I chose yellow specifically just in case um, we were out at night, just for safety purposes so we're well seen by other cars. The other bag is down here as well. This is where I keep the spare blanket. And to be honest with you, the reason I put the blanket here is because in the summertime and springtime when it's warmer, I like changing my daughter back here just so that I don't have to use the public restrooms if I don't have to. I really don't like it when this gets too stretched out, so I really try not to put anything in here. 
And I like to keep one of my reusable shopping bags right here, just because I found if I keep them in the trunk and I'm going in for just a really quick um, shopping trip, like, like to CVS or something, something where it's not a huge grocery shopping trip, that I'm just going to say forget it and not get my reusable bag. So I like to keep one here, that way I could easily access it from the driver's seat. And this is the trunk area. Again, I have one of those carabiner things. I have put this at the back of her stroller. And I have one of those waterproof mats. Now under here is where I have that rope that I showed you that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Um, there's actually quite a bit of storage underneath here around the spare tire for cables, um, flares, etc. But I really try not to put a whole lot in here because it's not that easy to access. You know, there's no friggin' way I'm gonna lift this up and try to go in there all the time. Here is where I stuff all of our reusable grocery bags. And then the way I hung that on the back seat was to put one of the carabiners there. That way I could just easily take it off.